Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, just stumbling across today's video, my name is Emma. video I'm very excited I'm actually doing a makeup tutorial slash makeup video and I'm really excited because I don't really do these very often but I do love doing my makeup and I feel like I want to incorporate it more into the channel so definitely let me know if you guys enjoy today's video but I'm actually partnering up with beauty counter and if you guys don't know who they are they are an amazing 100% clean beauty brand and that is so unreal I'm so proud to be working with them I actually discovered them quite a while ago so um, and I've been using their products here and there over the past little while so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a holiday little makeup look and I'm actually wearing the outfit that I'm gonna be going out in as well I'm just about to leave for a holiday party but obviously I thought it'd be super fun to do my makeup on camera with you guys and kind of walk you through what I'm gonna do for my makeup tonight so like I said I'm gonna be using all beauty counter products and I'm basically basing the entire makeup look around the good glitz duo which is this super cute little palette with four beautiful glittery shades and then of course a little lip gloss which you guys know I'm definitely a gloss girl and so I'm kind of basing the entire look around these two products and then I of course I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and the rest of my face as well using all beauty counter products so if you guys love any of the products that I'm gonna be talking about today I'll have everything linked down below for you guys um, but definitely check out their stuff like I said the fact that it's 100% clean beauty is so amazing and if this is the first time you guys are hearing about the beauty counter a brand I would definitely do your own research check it out um, check out their website they have all of their information on there but like I said they create clean beauty products that are honestly so high quality so beautiful so great um, and really easy to use I definitely would check them out um, and I'm really excited to show you guys all the products that I'm using today because they have definitely some of my favorites in here um, and then of course by the end of the video I'm gonna show you guys my outfit so Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna go in with is a primer, and it is the Beauty Counter Glow First Priming Serum. It's so pretty, you guys. First of all, the packaging is so cute. Um, so I'm gonna go in with that and just kind of apply it all over my face. Okay, so now that my skin is prepped and primed, I'm gonna go straight into foundation. And I'm actually mixing two foundations in the shade Medium 310 and the shade Medium 340. And this is the Beauty Counter Skin Twin Foundation. And it's so good, it's super lightweight, really buildable. Like you guys probably already know, I don't like wearing a ton of makeup on my face. I definitely like a lighter base. Um, that I can kind of build upon rather than like caking my face too much um, Even if it's the holidays and I want to do like a fun glittery look I definitely keep things more natural So this foundation is my absolute favorite for that. So I'm gonna go in with that So to apply my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use the beauty counter makeup sponge. I prefer using um, Makeup sponges over brushes for my foundation to be honest with you. I just like how it looks better and how it applies better onto my skin. Also, when I apply my foundation, I like to drag it down my neck just to make sure that it blends really well and obviously looks as natural as possible. Okay, so now that I have my base on, I'm gonna go ahead and use some cream blush and cream bronzer. So the blush that I'm gonna use is actually one of my current favorites. So the blush I'm gonna use, you guys, is so pretty. It's kind of like a rosy color that's usually the shade of pink that i always do for blush i think it is just so pretty especially for the holiday season it's a little bit warmer and just like cozier vibes so i'll have the exact shade of this blush that i'm going to be using down below um, and i'm also just going to go ahead and use some cream bronzer as well so sometimes i like to just go in with my fingers but today i'm just going to use the makeup sponge um, and just go right ahead and dip it into the cream br blush, <laughs> brush, blush, um, and just apply it to my cheekbones. It's literally so pretty. You guys can see it applies really nicely. Again, it's super buildable. I feel like all of Beauty Counter's products 
um, are really just made for everybody because nothing's too harsh and you can really apply it how you want. It's so pretty. And I'm also gonna add a little bit on my nose. Okay, so now that I've done the entire base of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brows. And for my brows, I'm gonna go in with the brow pencil and then also the brow gel. I'm in the shade medium for the gel and then also medium for the brows. I really like it because it has the little spoolie. Is that a spoolie? Is that, is that what you call it? At the end, um, which is really nice to like brush up and kind of give that like fluffy laminated look. And then of course the gel is great to kind of set it. So I'm firstly gonna go in and lightly, like very lightly feather my brows and just kind of fill in any gaps and just kind of create the illusion that they're a little bit more full. I really don't like filling in them too much though because I like the feathery, fluffy look. And I feel like if I fill them in too much, it looks too harsh on my face personally. So I really like to lightly do it. And I do feel like it is like the slightest difference or like it feels like it's the slightest difference, but it honestly looks so much better when you give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a zhuzh. And the shade medium is actually perfect for my hair color and my brow color. It's kind of like a taupey, almost like gray kind of. And sometimes you don't want it to be too warm and they actually nailed it on this shade for me, so I'm obsessed if you guys have the same color hair as me, I highly recommend getting the shade medium. So now I'm gonna use the other side and just kind of brush through them, fluff them up a little bit. And then of course, I'm gonna go in with the brow gel to set them and make sure they do not move throughout the day. Another thing I really like about the brow gel is that it's not like a clear wax or a clear gel. Um, it actually is tinted, obviously it's the shade medium. So it just adds even more of that color which creates a beautiful brow, so I'm obsessed. Okay, so now for the fun part and that is the eyes. So the main products that I'm kind of working around this entire makeup look is actually the Beauty Counter Good Glitz Duo and it is the eyeshadow palette. It's so, so pretty. You guys can take a look at it gorgeous and then also comes with this little lip gloss which is so sparkly and so glitzy so perfect for holiday so this is kind of what I'm basing the makeup look around um, I think this is a really great beginners palette um, it kind of has all the colors you need for a super cute little glitzy makeup look so let's get right into it so when a palette is four shades and very neutral colors that's kind of my go-to because I feel like it's just very user-friendly <laughs> and easier to use for somebody who's not like super experienced with like crazy eye makeup looks which I'll get there someday but for now I like to keep it very simple and light okay so let's get into the palette so the first shade I'm gonna go into is the shade Ray the top right is very like gold color and I'm just going to kind of put it all over my lid so I'm gonna go in with just kind of my overall eyeshadow brush and I'm basically going to pat that on into the entire lid and then next i'm gonna go in with the shade halo it is a slightly more kind of like copper color again it's very shimmery though and very pretty and i'm just gonna kind of put that at my corners and in my crease to create a little bit of depth in the eye look also i'm sorry if i'm not doing my makeup very well on camera i'm looking into this mirror beside me and hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm doing because that's the goal here. And like I said, every product is so buildable. So that's exactly what I'm doing with the eyeshadow. I'm just kind of adding a little bit more as I feel I need. And I think it's so pretty. So I'm also actually going to take the shade Ray again and bring it down under my eye just to create a little bit of glitter around the entire eye and then since you guys know i love a good like cat eye kind of like a smudged cat eye i don't like it when it's too harsh um i like to go in with a very like pointy brush very small pointy brush 
um, and I like to and I typically like to use like a dark eyeshadow or I use like a dark eye pencil that I can kind of use a brush to work with. So this shade Noir is obviously the perfect shade to create a little smudged cat eye look. So my rule with a black eyeshadow is that a little goes a long way and I prefer to add rather than take away. So I'm gonna start off very lightly and kind of build upon that because I don't wanna obviously overdo it and then have to use some makeup wipes so what i like to do with the eyeshadow is literally go from my corner and just go right out and then connect it to my eye and that creates such a subtle you can probably see it on camera but it creates such a subtle cat eye and i literally do this every day i think it's like the prettiest way to do a cat eye because like i said i don't like it when it's too harsh um, and I think it, when it's just the perfect little swoosh up your eye, I think that's really pretty and really delicate. And since it is a holiday look, I'm going to go a little bit darker than I usually would. Because obviously, it's a little bit more glam than your everyday. And then I'm going to kind of connect it over the entire lid when I do like a holiday look or something that's a little bit extra glam I like to go ahead and use a pencil on my bottom lash line a little bit as well it just adds to the dramatic effect of the eye look you know so I'm just gonna go in really lightly I don't want it to be too harsh like I said I'm all about the natural and then I'm gonna go ahead and add it on the top lash sorry if I'm making such weird faces while I do this but just needs to happen okay and then to finish off the eye look i'm gonna go ahead and use the beauty counter mascara it is some of the best mascara i think i've ever used you guys it's so good and creates such a long lash and i'm obsessed like look at that after literally just a few i'm so sorry i'm probably making the ugliest faces on camera and I apologize in advance for that. Okay, so now that my eyes and my face are done, we obviously have to finish off the look with a lip. And I have two different lips here that I'm obsessed with. And I said to myself, I would decide on the spot which one I wanted to do. So the two shades that I wanted to show you guys, though, since they are my two favorites. Um, the first one is Rose. And it is more of a, like, cranberry pink. So pretty very holiday and my outfit is very similar to that color so i was like okay maybe that one and then the other one is actually called rose wood so it's rose and rose wood and this one's a lot more deep and kind of neutral and more of like a brownie nude so both of these colors are a dream but i think i'm gonna go in with rosewood um because i'm definitely just more of a neutral gal i do love a pink lip but i feel like for the holidays a deep more like warm nude is the vibe so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that You guys, the Beauty Counter lipsticks are so creamy. I like can't even tell you. They're so moisturizing. I feel like I don't even need to add a gloss on top. But I do want to add one because I want to add glitter. But I feel like if I was going for just like this look right here and not adding too much glitter, you don't even need to add like a gloss. And I feel like... The lipsticks are just so moisturizing. So obviously, like I mentioned, I had the Good Glitz Duo, which was the eyeshadow palette, and then of course, the lip gloss. But I also have another lip gloss that I wanted to show you guys. It's in the shade Brulee, and I also think it's really, really pretty. So I think I might mix both, just for fun, because like, why not? I can do what I want. So the lip gloss that comes with the duo, it's called Gilded. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is super pretty. It's like a gold, shimmery shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly put that on top. Yeah, it's so glittery. I'm obsessed. And then I'm going to go on top of that because the more glitter, the better. And I'm going to go in with the shade Brulee. I sincerely apologize, you guys, again. I feel like I keep looking at the camera and I'm literally making the ugliest faces, so... 
don't mind me okay so that is it for the makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it was obviously very simple and i feel like it's a great little holiday makeup look especially for beginners um that are doing makeup beauty counter like i said is so amazing you guys all of the products are 100 percent clean which is unreal and i feel like more beauty brands are obviously leaning towards this nowadays but i feel like beauty counter is truly truly the blueprint and they are making moves in the industry and i'm honestly just so proud to work with a brand like them so i'll have like i said everything and every product that i used linked up down below and now i'm gonna get into my outfit so i will quickly show you guys my look before i head out um but yeah it was all about the makeup so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this is my look for tonight. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's this really pretty kind of like cranberry color. Yeah, you can see a little bit better if I go closer. Um, it's from Reformation and it's a long skirt with a little crop top. And then I'm just gonna probably wear a little black bag and some black heels. I think that's kind of my vibe tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with it. And this is actually my first holiday party that I'll be going to this year. So I'm very excited. So makeup's done, hair's done, outfit's on, and I think we're ready to go. So yeah, that is my makeup look and there's the complete outfit. Now that my hair, makeup, and look are done, I have to head out the door so I'm not late for my party. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed my makeup look, let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!